Hi, my name's Helen and this is my channel, Helen Mary Jo. If you're new here, then welcome. And if you're returning, then thank you so much. Um, as my regulars and others would have seen, I went over 10,000 subscribers last week, which, oh, sorry for touching the mic, um, which is just incredible, fabulous, fantastic. I was so delighted. It seems ridiculous, but it, it's just beyond my wildest dreams that I would have 10,000 people following me and liking my channel. So thank you very much. And thank you for this lovely community that I feel that we're building of kind of online friends and Hell's Bells. So that's lovely. Um, I did get an awful lot of comments, which was lovely, uh, congratulating me for the um, 10,000 on that little tiny 20 second video. And I did just like, uh, just heart most of those because there were so many, I couldn't keep up with them all with that and the other videos that went out over the last few days. So forgive me if I didn't answer, but I do read every single comment. I really, really do. And I, they mean the world to me and I'm really grateful. Um, what I would say is if you comment on my comments, like, so if you place a comment and then I answer it and then you respond to that, I don't see that as a fresh comment. So it might pass me by. So if, if you've done that and I haven't seen it and it's something that you wanted to know the answer to or something like that, then please just send me a fresh comment and then I can see it and answer it. Similarly, if you get that I was plagued with, I think what they call bots um, last week, where they were saying that I was running a competition or something and asking you to enter on Telegram. Well, I mean, I've never used Telegram at all. I only heard about it last week. And so don't, I won't do that. If I was to do a competition, and to be quite honest, I don't even know how I'd go about that, I would definitely talk about it. I would never just put it in comments. So when you see those, you'll see three little dots by the comment on the YouTube page, and you can just report, delete, remove, do whatever you need to do, but please don't engage with these. Um, well, they're called scammers, but they should be called scummers because they're just scum. I don't know why YouTube don't have the correct kind of um, filters themselves to, to pick up on those things. And maybe they do filter loads and those are just the ones that get through. But whatever, it's blinking annoying. Um, and I find it really kind of disappointing because it's like I feel they contaminate the channel for want of a better expression because I think it's a really, apart from the odd dodgy comment that I've had, most people are absolutely lovely and uh, I feel like we're kind of getting to know each other and it's a community and I feel that they're spoiling that. It would be like, I don't know, like drunk people coming into a nice party, you know, that you don't know, that kind of thing. That's the analogy. Anyway, um, the video today, I'm sitting the different way around today because um, I'm trying on black trousers. I'm not sure how it's going to work. I'm trying to find a place where you can kind of see the trousers better. And I thought against the brown wooden door wouldn't work too well. Um, obviously, this is just my house. I don't live in a studio. And um, like one lady said, could you film in front of a white wall? Well, I mean, I'd have to buy a white wall. I haven't got a white wall anywhere, so I don't know quite how I meant to do that. But anyway, I'm, I'm sort of just exploring options. And it's difficult because I've got to get the distance to be able to film. Anyway, today I'm doing the Marks and Spencer's black trousers. And um, they have arrived. All I've done is taken them out of the delivery bag. I think there's seven or eight pairs of black trousers, all size 18. And I think on the whole, I ordered them all in regular length, which is optimistic because I have got short legs, but I usually wear a little bit of a flat form or a heel or a wedge or something. So um, let's keep everything crossed because this, this whole thing might be a disaster. And I have got three um, sweaters from Uniqlo, which I might do as well, um, depending. Today, I've still, I'm wearing again the um, knitted slipover from Primark. And actually, this blouse is Primark as well, last year. So very classy today, Primarni at its best. And uh, But I just thought it'd go, well, I'll take the slip over off. I'll just wear the shirt with the, um, 
with the trousers to show you what they're like. And then um, I've got a funny little story for you. Well, I think it's hilarious, but you might not, of course, but I'll do that at the end. So uh, keep tuned. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. It doesn't cost you anything and it helps with the channel and um, the algorithms. So stay tuned and um, I'll try the first pair of trousers. Thanks so much. So I've had to turn this way around because it didn't work at all with the light from the window. So these are, um, they're called Marl. I thought Marl was like a kind of a tweedy kind of fabric. And these are just very flat black, um, almost shiny. I'll show you what they're like. They're Marl straight leg trousers and these are in a regular. And they've got the um, stitched in front seam, which I'm not really liking, to be honest with you. So I have had to put quite a heel on with these because they are long, too long for me. I have got short legs. I can't deny it. They are just pull on. They've got a trouser. They've got a pocket here, which is pulling slightly on my belly. But um, they're perfectly comfortable. Um, they haven't got a stretch in them. They have got back pockets here I don't know what the back looks like be kind um but they're quite I think they are polyester pure polyester and they they kind of feel like polyester they're 25 pound but I, I wouldn't buy them at all um they're not they don't look good and to be honest with you if you've got a heavier leg and it distorts that seam. It just kind of um, just uh, magnifies the the heavier leg. So these are not not a winner for me. I mean, they look fine with the shirt down, but like there, there's the centre of my leg, and that's where the seam's going, and that must be where my legs are pulling it. So. They, they fit fine and I am heavy around. I carry, carry my weight on my kind of bottom half more than anywhere else. So they are a practical trouser. I'm sure they wash and wear. They're kind of what I'd call like a uniform trouser, but they're, they're not great. Not for me anyway. So that's number one. I'll give them four out of 10. I don't know when I started a marking system, but that's what I appear to have done. So that's the first pair, £25 polyester. This second pair is a straight cut, and they again have pockets, and they are jersey, and they again have the seams down the front, which I will show you, but these are much nicer. I think they are probably polyester, and I'll put that in the description. Um, but they've got kind of a grown-on waistband rather than that last one had very much a gathered, elasticated waistband, you know, um, which is kind of comfortable. But these are more comfortable because they've got stretch in the fabric. And uh, these are a short length. I obviously came to my senses when I ordered these and remembered. Um, hang on, I just have to tilt the camera slightly. So this is the short leg with the pocket, and the pocket is pulling. I can't pretend it is, and it is, but, um, you know, I always wear a top anyway over shirts. I would never, um, never sort of have all this on display. So um, I think these are actually a really practical, they feel so much better quality. They're, they're a nice heavy fabric and um, they feel nice. The last pair felt cheap and Similarly, because I think they've got the stretching, it's not distorting that seam down the front. So it's still got the seam sewn, the seam, the, the, but it's the crease, isn't it? It's the crease is sewn in down the front of the trouser. And these are a straight leg and these are an 18 short. And these, these are much, 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 much better than the last pair. I would give these um, eight out of 10. And I might keep these actually, because they're just a really comfortable, easy wear, easy care, black trouser. And I could take those ridiculous heels off. How I used to wear those heels all the time, I just do not know. Um, just get out. I used to wear heels like that when I was heavily pregnant. Weird, isn't it? But anyway, go for comfort now. Um, but yeah, I would, I would do, yeah, I would give these eight out of 10. They're a good, good trouser. So 
they're winning by a mile. Right, the third pair are needle cord and they are 98% um, cotton and 2% elastane and they are straight cut size 18 regular. I can't get them, I can't get them anywhere near. So, I mean, that's, you'd think that they were the same straight cut. I mean, they're just a disaster. I can't, I can't get them close to being done up. So they're a zero out of 10. Um, you tell me, straight cut, regular, 18. Don't go near me. And they're not slim fit. They are straight straight back to the shop for me. <laughs> Useless. Now this pair are slim fit ankle grazers, 2250, and they're polyester viscose and elastane, I think. And they've got, I mean the cords obviously had a zip but couldn't get near me. And these have got a zip as well. And they are pulling slightly on the pockets, but it doesn't bother me too much because I always wear a long top with jumpers and or I layer it, you know, with a shirt and a shorter jumper. But I like these. Um, I like the slim fit. They're a nice feeling fabric, nice weight, comfortable. And I think they're probably the most slimming of the trousers that I've tried on. And although they're regular, they're perfectly good length on me. I mean, maybe you're meant to have them shorter. But I think when you've got a short leg already, you don't really need to make them look any shorter. But they they're really comfortable. They've they've got um, you know belt loops. They've kind of got a proper waistband. Um, so yeah, I think these are these are probably nine out of ten right now. Um, um, did I say they're twenty two fifty, which is a really good price, I think, because they do feel like proper grown-up trousers and I, I think they'd be incredibly practical um, all the time really you know they feel like quite a nice quality pair of black trousers I need to check what I've got in the wardrobe to be honest with you because they're the sort of thing that I'm sure I've bought before and thought oh that's a nice pair of black trousers and then I just never think to wear them they've got um, a top stitch stitched side seam but they haven't got that that front um, crease stitched in so yeah these are the, these are the winners at the moment girls I mean those cords I was thinking if you've got you know I've, I've got friends my, my mum as well got very slim legs um, so those cords would probably be better although it depends how much of a tummy you've got because I, I mean I could get them up my legs mostly not really properly but I could not get them they're about four inches apart on the waistband which is ridiculous really isn't it anyway um two pairs left one of those is wide leg because i obviously still haven't learned my lesson <laughs> now this uh penultimate pair are um i think i've shown these before they're the 17 pound 50 pull-on polyester they're they've kind of got some give in them they're they're just pull on they've got no pockets they're only 17 pound 50 so you wouldn't expect a lot for that but i think these are really good if you have to wear black trousers for work i'd say probably buy three pairs of these and just rotate them and they they do the job they're they're um what do they call these um straight high rise but you can see they're they're too long again I'm obviously a short, I have to just admit it, but you know, you live in hope that your legs have grown while you weren't looking and um, they're a good, a, a good trouser. I mean, you know, for that money, I, I think they're remarkable really. Um, if I could stop walking like Dick Emery, they would look a lot better. But um, yeah, I think we've agreed before in other videos that they're a good wardrobe staple, but not for me as nice as the, the heavier weight ones for £25. I think if I had to choose, I'd choose those. So I'd probably give these 7 out of 10. Okay. Um, yeah, so I've made a bit of a boo-boo. So I've actually ordered two of the same pair of trousers 
Um, so I'll pop those on with the first of the Uniqlo jumpers. I ended up not putting the Uniqlo sweater on with these because, you know, these are for you, ladies. I've tried this on for you, not for me, because they don't do anything for me. They're a very wide leg. They're a lovely weight. These are 39.50. These are what I'd call a classy pair of trousers. I think they do a jacket to match with these. And I think if, if you know, if you've got longer legs than me, I think they're really a lovely pair of trousers. So I would give them 9 out of 10 for other people, but not for me. Um, they almost feel like wool. I don't, they're, they're not wool, but, um, you know, they are pulling a bit on the pocket, um, but they've got belt loops and, you know, they're, they're a proper grown up pair of trousers. But, you know, the thing with me is, cause I've got such short legs. I mean, I've got probably a three inch heel on. I just get like a rectangle, you know, of, of solid and, it doesn't, it doesn't do anything for me. So I'm going to go back and pop on one of the other pairs of trousers with the sweater because, well, for one thing, I might break my neck if I keep these on with the heels and everything. So I'm going to put the slim leg pair on and then I will show you the first of the sweaters. So I pop the slim bit ankle grazers on again, um, but you've seen those. So I'll just concentrate on the um, sweater. Now, a few years back, Probably a good few years back, uh, Uniqlo landed in um, the UK and there were stores everywhere. And I think they overdeveloped too quickly and they shrank it right back. And now there's a few dotted around, but um, they still ha do have stores. I know there's one in Westfield and probably in Oxford Street and stuff. But this sweater, you know, we've been bemoaning the fact that um, Marks and Spencer's is all polyester. Well, this is 100% lamb's wool, and it's a really warm day today because you're having this kind of Indian summer, and you can see it's an extra extra large, and I haven't decided whether to keep it or not. I love the colour. Um, I would have to, I would personally want to wear something underneath it just to elongate the length. It uh, just comes just to the pockets, but it's a lovely quality sweater. And I think this was about £39. So, yes, it's more expensive, but it's not polyester. It's pure wool. And it's it's soft enough for me. I turned the um, polo neck inside because it just gives it a neater finish. And you can tuck it a little bit lower than if you have it coming this way. That was a little chip I saw. And it kind of looks smoother. I mean, I love the colour. You know this is my favourite colour. and. Um, yeah, so I'll just double check that price. Um, so that's the first sweater, and then I've, I've got two more. It's really warm. <laughs> I bought the same sweater in ivory, um, and it was twenty nine ninety actually. So, you know, actually the same price as um, Marks and Spencer's that are polyester. And it, I mean, it is really warm. I'm feeling feeling the warmth already but it's it's again you know it's the same shape and everything extra extra large uh because I, I didn't want it kind of slim fitting and I think these are jolly good value they are hand wash and it says to use uh, a wool or a silk detergent but if you're looking for a wool jumper I think that you could do a lot worse than these and they had lots of different ones on the on the page so have a look at their website I've got one more to show you and then I'll just wrap up. This is a pretty long video, I think. So this is the last sweater. This is oatmeal and cream ivory stripes, which you can see. This one's a slightly looser fit, and I think it's slightly longer. This does actually come down to the pocket, bottom of the pocket. So I don't think I'd need anything under this one. Um, it's got this nice ribbon, ribbing detail on the bottom. And it's got this kind of loose neck, so it's not up around your neck if that's a problem for you. This does feel softer. Oh, I've just realised it's got no side seams. That's good, isn't it? Pad wash too, but um, for $39.90, I think it looks like a really kind of classy pullover to wear with jeans or 
uh, chinos or black trousers, to be honest, or, you know, skirt, whatever. I, I think it's uh, rather nice. I'll decide when I watch the video back. So that's um, Uniqlo. And like I say, there's loads on their website. They do a really good range of um, down coats and cashmere and all sorts of things, really. It used to be one of my favorite shops when they were local to me where I used to live. So that's it. I'll just have a quick chat to finish and then um, edit and get this video published as soon as possible. So I promise you a funny story. And honestly, I'm not a comedian, but, um, you know, I, I talked about my pants in the last video where I had them on, I was looking for them. Well, a good, a good few years ago now, 10 years ago, I was in Sainsbury's and um, I glanced over and <laughs> there was a lady in the uh, fruit and veg section and she'd obviously pulled on yesterday's jeans that had yesterday's knickers in them. And she hadn't realised that the knickers had worked their way down. So this is like not the knickers she put on fresh, obviously, that day, but the day before was knickers, I'm guessing. And they were like hanging out of her trousers onto the floor. And as she was walking, these knickers were kind of following her on her leg. I mean, I couldn't understand how she couldn't feel them. And I thought, what, what shall I do? Shall I tell her? Would she rather know or would she rather never know or would she rather find them herself somewhere, you know, in the shop? She'll realise and quickly kind of put them away. So I was transfixed by these pants hanging out of her trouser legs when she was walking around the store. This kind of pair of black pants was kind of following her, her trouser leg. And um, I was really in a turmoil. You know, it's a bit like, I know this is disgusting, but you know if somebody's got a bogey and you think, would you rather be told you've got a bogey or would you rather realise when you get in the car and that, know that you've been talking to people and you had something hanging out of your nose? I mean, I'd rather be told for that momentary embarrassment, at least it's over. So I was like going around my trolley and I couldn't do my shopping for thinking, shall I tell her, shall I tell her, shall I tell her, shall I tell her? Anyway. They dropped out in the frozen food aisle and the shop wasn't busy and there was just this frozen food aisle and this pair of black pants in the middle of the floor. And I thought, well, she'll, she never knew and she'll never know what happened to her today. So I was glad I didn't tell her, but it did strike me that when the staff were tidying up, they'll think that someone had a bet, much better day than they'd had down the frozen food aisle. Put it that way. Maybe not, maybe not. Maybe that's just me being ridiculous. But anyway, it made me laugh at the time. And I got home and I was like, oh, my God, there was this poor woman with her pants hanging out of her trouser leg. But uh, anyway, that was the little funny story I promised you. It's not, I mean, it was really hilarious at the time. And like I say, she'll never know. So happy days. I was glad I didn't tell her. Anyway, that's it from me. I hope you have a lovely day and um, I'll see you real soon. The next one. Oh my goodness me. I'm doing one on men's underpants. Men's underpants. So I've got two. I'm going to do, um, I'm going to put it together with another product that I've been gifted and it'll be kind of ideas for Christmas. And I actually think both, both of these items, the men's pants and the other item are both brilliant ideas for Christmas. So I'll, um, I might even just run on and, and film that like now while I'm in the mood, while Dolly's quiet because she's desperately waiting for her walk today. So, um, yeah, thanks. Bye.